Hey everyone, and welcome to my map, Crevice. This is a 3v3 to 5v5 competitive map, and it features gameplay for Slayer and One Flag. Now, I'm probably going to be making some changes to this map overall just because I haven't been able to play test it too much since uh, the uh, custom games and everything, the lobby instability is kind of affecting the ability to, um, you know, play, test custom games and stuff like that. So this map may go through several changes and I will be setting this up for more game modes, so that might also cause some other map changes as well. So there's a couple little interesting things in this map. One is that there is a gate. So I had this gate. This is specifically useful in one flag. It won't really affect your Slayer performance, but maybe it will affect it a little bit. But for the most part, it's meant for objective in one flag. This, this map was built primarily with one flag in mind, yet I haven't even tested one flag on it because of the um, the the custom game instability and stuff like that. But that little switch over there that I activated activates this little kind of side pathway into the, ba into the base and uh, there's the flag spawn right there. So it can be a really good, you know, quick getaway spot or a really quick entrance and grab the flag kind of spot. So there's some nice, uh, there's some nice verticality to this map. Uh, I try to make things as natural as possible uh, and I kind of wanted these, these elevation differences and being able to kind of defend up here against different approaches, but I didn't add any cover or I didn't really add too much cover up here because I didn't want it to be like an overpowered, you know, super powerful position that people can just kind of camp on and, uh, and, and not have to actually defend their base properly. So there's a couple of important landmarks you're going to want to consider when playing this map, and the first one is probably Sniper Spawn. Now, Sniper Spawns are right over here, and it will overlook the middle bridge, which is one of the more common access ways between blue base and red base. Blue base itself is smaller than red base. It's more of an, uh, an attacker's base, so an offense base, than it is a defense base. But I don't know how well this would play out for multi-flag or anything like that, but it is primarily built for one flag. So this is the base that the blue team's going to spawn in, and we're going to bring the flag back. So keep that in mind that this is a the smaller base, and that you won't really have to do too much defending or anything in here. It's mostly just corridors over there. So at the center of the map, we have the center bridge with shotgun spawn. Now, shotgun is particularly useful at defending uh, bases. You know, you want to kind of hide in your base. I'm not going to say camp, but kind of camping a little bit with your shotgun and just defending the, uh, the flag from attacking forces and stuff like that. That's what the shotgun is mainly used for. Down in here, we have the sword cave. So the sword cave is obviously where you get the sword, but this is a really interesting place to fight in. Uh, since all these different rocks and stuff like that is uh, interesting sight lines down here There's really no one way to approach fighting in here You know you can either go on to the water bit and kind of hide around the corner at the flank or use the cover to your advantage to BR From long range so this cave can really spawn some interesting interactions between players So that's it for about the walkthrough. It's not an overly large map. It's just meant for uh, you know smaller size lobbies, which is pretty good for right about now uh, big team battle maps are going to have some performance issues right now since the way the, uh, the game is optimized and, and just there needs to be some more changes before we can make some bigger maps with more team members. So looking at the gameplay, I very specifically made the terrain in a certain way to avoid the TR near of BRs and grenades. You'll notice that if you guys play multiplayer then you're going to run into a lot of battle rifle and grenade encounters and that's pretty much what the multiplayer boils down to. And while that's fun, I didn't want my map to be specifically just about grenades. And so the terrain is kind of built in a unique way that um, it allows you to kind of close the distance with assault rifles and automatic weapons. And when it comes to grenade spams, you can throw them as much as you want, but some of the terrain is kind of placed in a way that if you throw the grenades, they're going to bounce around. And they're not actually going to get to their intended target. So not that grenades are useless, it's just there are certain positions on the map which you can hide yourselves from grenades and be a little bit more safe when it comes to grenade combat. So the map overall has a very simplistic layout. I went for a pretty standard two base and three pathway design. You have the middle bridge, you have the little sniper cave, and then you have the, the sword cave. And those are also very useful callouts, so if you guys are playing very competitively, then I guess those can be used as interesting callouts, you know, sword cave, sniper cave, middle bridge. So I wanted to build that specifically in mind to have these landmarks on the map that you could very specifically relate to. And I didn't want the map to be overly complex or complicated, just something very easy to understand. And overall, for you know my first map in Halo 2 Anniversary Forge, I want to build something 
fairly simple to just kind of learn the ropes of things first. The gameplay is fairly variable in terms of different weapons, and the uh, power weapons aren't too overpowered. There's not one that's going to specifically dominate, and I made sure to eliminate to eliminate to limit the ammo on specific weapons like the sniper rifle to make sure that you couldn't just sit with the sniper rifle all game and get a million kills. The gameplay is quite replayable, at least I find, uh, just because there's different chokes and interesting encounters and overall you can't, you have to kind of mix things up when you're playing it since, you know, grenades and battle rifles aren't going to be the most dominant things on the map. You're going to have to use your full arsenal of automatics and precision rifles and power weapons. The center bridge offers some really interesting combat, just shooting across there and kind of like breaking line of sight, having some guys go flanking, or even when people are pushing up across the bridge, having someone in sniper cave take them out is really interesting, really fun to watch if you're not on the receiving end of that. So center bridge is really an interesting area to kind of fight in. The sword cave is really awesome for the kind of grenade spammers. They can't really, they can't, they can't really fight too well. So if, you're, if you don't like the grenade spams, then I'd recommend going down to the sword cave and having a lot of your combat in there because there's lots of little nooks and crannies that you can hide behind, which really complements the sword well. So if you pick up that sword and you kind of bait people with your radar, then you can kind of sneak around and get that kill. And it's really interesting just kind of the different tactics you'll come up with using terrain to your advantage. The sniper, the sniper cave or the little sniper overwatch is a very standard path, uh, nothing too specific about it, but the main thing is that you can overlook that center bridge, so it's very crucial to kind of control that area at the beginning of the game. So anyways, that's the map. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope you guys download it once the file browser is finally working. I've got no idea when everything will be working properly, but uh, when it is, the map is already on my file share. Like I said before, there might be some changes, so this might not be the exact variant of the map, and yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys have a good day.